Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so, I haven't, I haven't done anything since last episode. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to the Bailey. I think we narrowly escaped death in the last episode in the Bailey because we're not probably as equipped as we would most like to be. But, that being said, uh, money's pretty tight. Money's pretty tight in this game right now, so don't imagine that I'll be able to buy anything. Well, I, I could buy more stuff, but the stuff I'm buying isn't really doing much to help me. And I have no idea where the Bailey is. Uh, I think it's out this way. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So again, this is just a side quest to clear out the Bailey here. I imagine that I'm going to probably push until I can't push anymore and then, and then back, back out again. Just to get a little bit of experience points, just to get a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of treasure. Trade some of that treasure for better items or something to that effect. Strangely enough, we don't get we don't get any experience points for completing little things like having successful magic. Like I just used some magic there to light the way and I didn't get any experience points for any of that sort of stuff. So that's a little disappointing. Um I basically, the only thing i found that I get experience points for is fighting. So I have to look for fights. I mean, it's just the way she goes. Anyway, if you, uh, if you haven't been watching this, uh, this is kind of a, a different RPG style game. Um, ooh, a juicy rabbit. Okay. Can we take it? I don't... <laughs> Ooh. Sweet. So, ten beer. Magic potion. Strong magic potion. I'm gonna give that to Dello because he probably needs it. Oh, there's quite a few of them, so. Small p magic potions. And a healing potion. Well, probably need a few of those handed out too. Hey, that's great. That's great news. But again, things like picking that uh, lock doesn't give me really any experience points and the only thing I've noticed gives me any experience points at all is fighting. So this must have been the room uh, that I finished in last time. This leads to the first sub-level. Go on. Okay. No, I'm just guessing that that's the door that I came in. Oops, what happened there? Oh. And I am I'm using auto auto battle just because these battles are terrible. Everybody misses everything, and it's a, <coughs> just a nightmare. <coughs> Looks like he's holding a crossbow in his hand, but that can't be true, right? It's 
a sling, so it's a ranged weapon. Is he, uh... Who's he standing next to? Oh, yeah, that's one of ours. So, we're good to go. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been skipping the attack. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Found quite a bit of money. These bandits were loaded. Cutlass. Oh, I want to take a better look at that cutlass because I couldn't. I, I put it away before I read how much damage it gives us. Most of this stuff is just junk to sell. And uh, sword. That's an actual sword. So I think. I think after a fight like that. It's best just to leave. Unless I can camp down here. I can. I, I can camp down here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can't heal up some wounds. Okay. So I guess not. Three vitality. Good. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, I am going to have her meditate. as well. No, um... Yeah, everyone's a little uncomfortable in these surroundings. forgot about that. I don't have any other way of lighting this place without, uh... Good. Without magic. So, that's why magic is so important to this right now. And... Well, it's actually probably smarter for me just to leave. This is a dungeon crawler that I think is going to take a lot of patience in order to complete. I mean, things just take a long time to get through. All the characters start out basically as tissue paper and just getting normal things done. There's not a lot of uh, wiggle room for anything. So I suppose we could go to the general store and kind of sell off all this stuff we picked up. And... I guess we can also go to the inn and get a good night's rest. There's herbs I don't need. What I wanted was to look at 
I wish this was organized better. Maybe I could get this guy some... A shield. Not the rapier, but the cutlass. That's what I want. The saber and the cutlass appear to be essentially the same item. One weighing ten more than the other. Well, this one weighs even less. Lord, where'd it go? The saber, there it is. Now, the reason she wasn't carrying that is because she's kind of a lightweight, and I just want to make sure she could use it. Like, she could equip that sword. Anyway, uh, let's see, where was that? Armor. Every time I come here, the guy is out. I always come in the wrong hours. Sorry, I just like clicked through that. Um. Sweet. Three vitality. Uh, let's see. bad. Three vitality. Doing a little better with that stuff. I mean, it's, it's miss a lot more than it's hit, that's for sure. Yeah, I suppose we're, we're all right. I'm not doing great or anything, but I want to get to this armor. 
What time is it? Four hours, what? All right, let's sell some goods. Now, there's somebody who can enchant this stuff, so I don't know if I want to sell it yet. Probably in the next time I rest, I should have somebody enchant something. Just to see if it adds any value to any of this stuff. Obsidian dagger. What the hell? No idea. Uh, modestly straight with a symmetrical handle. Can also be used as a melee weapon. That means ST bonus from 17 every five quality weathered condition sound. I had no idea I picked this thing up, but okay, I'm gonna hold on to that because I don't understand it yet. Like always, I, I end up uh... Okay, so I get a little bit more cash out of that. Um Let me buy some stuff now. What did I say? Uh I was gonna buy a shield for what's it there
expensive. This is more moderately priced. I mean, I could buy something like this. And it would really make my attack like something else to have a sword like this. At least one sword on our 6 to 11 is only one step higher than the sword that I have right now. So it would be kind of hard to justify. 6 to 16 is a lot better than what I've been wielding, so uh, kind of get it. I don't know, it's it's a lot to give one person, you know, that extra little bump. Like, he's selling this sword for nine, but he's giving us, like, peanuts for it. Four to fourteen, six to sixteen. I'm not gonna do it because it's like it's basically all my money at this point. We are gonna haggle. Price then. Alright, and then I guess I will have to equip that before I forget. The reason I keep a little, I keep a few backup items for people because, um, like these these weapons do break at some point. And I'm not even sure if this one's in good condition. It's already broken. Okay, so I do need to see a blacksmith to repair some stuff. Luckily. Holy shit. Yeah, we'll repair that. Oh. Hello? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, he's gonna work on it? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> he doesn't have it ready right now? Damn. Um, I did not know that. I knew the items broke, but I don't think I've ever uh, had had anybody break something and, and send it for repair. So I'll have to. Rem do I have to remember to go back and pick that item up from him? I think that's downright crazy. And we're getting a bit heavy as well. Guys, getting heavy. Yeah, we'll drink one, and we'll give one to this lady here. And he's a little bit more agile. Okay, so that's taking something to a blacksmith. Uh, is there another blacksmith in town? I think I've seen more than one.
let's let, let's head back to the Bailey. Oh, he didn't even give me a time frame for how long he was going to be when I stopped, so I'm a little bit worried. That's the last I'm going to see of that sword. It's not like a big deal or anything, it's just... One of those strange game mechanics that you wouldn't expect to find. <coughs> So back at the Bailey. Before I get going, I wanted to just take a look at my status, see how we were doing uh, progression-wise. Nine hit, nine experience points. Nine experience points. Eight experience points. Five. Eight. And three. Yikes. Slow, slow moving here. Um, don't know what to really say about all that. I can also buy some leather armor. Because a lot of these people are wearing, like, cloth. And I can buy some, like, leather pants. If you look cool. I don't even think this guy's wearing a shirt. This guy's not even wearing a shirt. No shirt, white pants, and looks like a cape. He is hardcore. No wonder he only has three experience points. Okay, so this little cavern makes people very uncomfortable. I've noticed. She doesn't have elemental magic. That's crazy. Damn. I'm using up all her magic just trying to get this light to work. Okay, good. There's 20 ducals in that altar as well that I could steal. Stealing from the altar of like a deity. Probably not going to work out very well for me. Where's the door? Here? So I think I got a fight right I got into the fight right here. Secret door. Looking more closely, Gerbod discovers a secret door in the wall. After several attempts, Gerbod success succeeds in opening it. Cool. We're not going down there yet. What's with this non-secret door in the wall? Bathroom. This is this room is furnished as a bathroom. Rainwater can be he, can be heated and poured into two large basins here. You see a thunder box in one corner. Thunder box is that like an old tiny term for toilet? I imagine so. How quaint.
I, I just have a feeling that I'm not going to be um, enough for whatever whatever's in here. Like I haven't prepared in any way for these battles. So. I didn't think I was gonna win. Okay. Getting a lot more junk. Well, not a lot more, but more. Hole in the floor. There's a hole in the floor here leading to a shaft with an iron ladder. Do you want to go down the ladder? No. There's a doorway right here that we never checked. He's my lock picker. Hmm. I don't know how checking things works in this game either, so I really don't know. I really don't know what to say about this. Give me some of that grain. Getting some good lockpicks out of this anyway. I wonder if it's just like if you have a lockpick and a person, you you you're done. Like you've got it. Is. Did anybody die? One decal and six. Shit. Not a lot of stuff of any wealth here, so I just want to make sure that Gerbosh here isn't dead. Drunk and unconscious. Lucky bugger. Okay, so, uh, time to go. We're gonna have to get out of here. Uh, I can find my way back out. Here we go. Whoops. I thought I, I thought I clicked through it. All right, slow and steady. We're uh, getting some things done here. It ain't pretty, but we're, we're getting it done. 
getting to the bottom of the bailey there. I mean, I, I think I could camp in there, and it would be just as good as coming out here and going to a hotel or an inn. But I'm not, I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try to treat this fellow's wounds. One vitality. And we'll use her treat wounds to uh, heal him. Got nothing. All right, and then I'm gonna have to do some meditations. can uh, enchant. I suppose not. Her Bosch there is not going to heal up very fast by the looks of things. Uh, rather not have him go get drunk and get into a fight or something, so... Basically doing this until he's healed. See if we can't negotiate the rest of these people getting their magic ability back as well. spell. I want to see Oh, okay. Never mind. Can still meditate then. Not for much. Slow and steady. I mean, everything takes so much time in this game. One vitality. Especially in the beginning here, we're just... Just... Inching along. Can't seem to treat her wounds. And then we'll do some meditations too. Whew. Um, 
Delo definitely needs it more than anybody else. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I could get one of the girls to cast uh, something on Gerboch or Gerboch, whatever his name is there, to help him heal better. I think we're pretty much okay. Let's see what's going on in the tavern. Alright. Once you've closed the door, you can barely manage to move. Okay, so same as last time. The innkeeper looks at you. I'm gonna try to get him to give us some rumors here. The masterminds are in the Iron Court. Just as an example, but I don't know if that's any use to you. Well, turning away, okay. The patrons at the adjacent table get louder. It seems a bearded sailor with a wooden leg and an eye patch, as befits the trade, is telling the tallest of yarns a ship of the dead, a ghost ship. I tell you, crewed by the undead from its from its like bilges to the yards. I tell you, it's Elf Elred's curse, or Marbo's perhaps, daughter of Boron, god of the dead. Many years ago, I heard the tale of Marbo and how, in human form, she sailed on a ship that was attacked by a horde of pirates. The ship never arrived at its port of call, and only the ship's cook, a simpleton, was saved. What rubbish. Bartender, three more beers. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to leave. Fair enough, and checking my status. Oops, I need one more place. 12, 10, 11, 8, 11, and 10 XP out of 100. So Gerbod is definitely leading the pack here, the, the most XP, but we're not doing well by, by anybody's standard. Um, Hmm. What did I say? I was gonna I was gonna check into some leather armor. I just wanna check what kind of shirt this fellow's wearing to begin with. Cloth shirt. She's wearing the cloth shirt too. And we've got a lot of cloth shirts here, but nothing uh nothing else. So maybe we'll go with the leather armor. Because it seems like Three armor, minus one attack, minus two parry, insulation, and two waterproofing. So. Nothing else. We'll see if Dello can't wear a shirt. And what time is it? It's probably too late. Yeah, it's like one o'clock in the morning. Well, uh, let's find the place I need to be anyway. Yeah, this is the place I want to be. Uh, I'm going to camp here for a few hours. Might as well try my luck at uh, healing Gerbosh. No, no luck. I 
Nope. My lord, is he the only one who has any healing ability? No, she can heal. Spell failed. Okay, never mind. Alright, well, let's get, get some rest then. We didn't rest enough. few things. Of course, they're the ones that are way down here. I don't even know if I can scroll up the list. Anymore. Anything else I wanted. Okay, so I'll have to try to haggle them anyway. See if I can't get them somewhere. 5%! Okay, and then I wanted to look at things to sell too. Not sure if I really have anything to want to sell. I can't imagine needing this beer for anything. Seems like they're constantly giving me beer, but I... Hey, jewelry... Two bucks? I'm just cutting the beer and the wine in half at this point because I don't really see the purpose of it. I think in the other, like there's a more difficult version of this where I have to monitor their um, drinking and eating. And in that case, I, I guess it will probably play a very important part in just keeping them with something in their belly, but for me, it doesn't seem to hold any value whatsoever. Good, good. So... A few things there. Let me equip. Oh! 
I didn't realize it went on over his shirt. That I did not get. Because this guy's wearing it, isn't he? Or is this a leather shirt? Right? Like, if I took this off and put a cotton shirt under it, would he have both cotton shirt and... Because I see the benefit of that. Like, an insulation and... Yeah, I have little to no understanding of how this game actually works. I did the same thing for her, too. I could get her a helmet as well. Might appreciate that. This fella has no shirt at all. I was going to give this guy that other guy's shirt. But. Yeah. Seems out of place. Maybe I'll go back in and see if I can't purchase him a normal shirt. I wish I could just scroll up and get to the bottom of the list, but I, it doesn't let me do that. Leather shirt. See, I don't understand. It does—it's not any better than the cotton or the cloth shirt. Does it weigh less? No, it's—it's it's exactly the same. Why? Why are they different prices? Maybe I'll buy him a tunic. No, this is getting a little bit expensive, so just wanted to get some shirts. Okay, one, one for him, and one for him. Good. And let's see. I wonder if this is going to put his shirt on. Leather armor. What the hell? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Good. Fair enough. <clears throat> All right, we're going to save again. I'm going to cut it off here, and we'll pick it up here next time. Thanks for watching.